What's going on, Lee Ron here, and I'm painting something huge. And I want to share with you a bit of the process and let me explain why. So I know a lot of people are scared to paint huge paintings. Let me show you. Um, this is quite a big one, 240 by 70. And I am actually documenting the entire process for a vlog format type of video. So you will see a lot of this process described and explained and discussed and some snippets of me actually painting. But I want to share with you the piece today because I know one reason people are scared of this is they just don't know how will I be able to paint all the details I see to to paint the entire thing and actually have it connect like we're used to in watercolor to have connections, to have smooth washes, all of that good stuff. Now I want to share with you this process to show you that you can paint in small sections. You don't actually have to have an overarching wash over everything. Honestly, the only two overarching ar uh, washes, uh, <laughs> I want to say overarching arches, <laughs> overarching washes are the sky here and a bit of the water down below. Everything else I painted in small sections. So let's jump into the process. I'll show you a bit of it. So here is the process. Now I'm starting with um, a point in the painting where I already painted a small detail, as you can see there. Uh, the some of the rooftops and the, and the buildings, but it's all like a mess, right? And this is a beautiful f uh, scene from Florence. Um, and what you can see here is I'm starting to work on the roof. I will add the reference photo later on. You'll see it because right now I don't see it. But in any case, there are some beautiful rooftops, oranges, lovely, uh, lovely type of elements that the sunlight hit directly and they look wonderful. Sorry, let me use my phone. I'm always looking, uh, expecting a color delivery or something. So just saying, now look at what I'm doing here. I'm going to transition directly from this red onto um, a bit of the shadow. Now, I don't want to go over the entire process. I will share more of it again uh, in the proper vlog video, but just look at how much time I do have to just work at my own pace and then immediately when I have the paint I need uh, I'm just gonna place that in right next to the red paint and look at how beautifully they merge together because of the timing because of whatever and even though I'm covering large areas right it's okay you take your time you work your pace and you're able to slowly build the painting out section by section by section um, a lot of it if anything is I would say patience, but not in the sense of I'm trusting the process and as long as I trust the process, it'll be fine. Not as a middleman, but patience just because there's a lot to paint. There are a lot of details you want to convey. That kind of a thing does require patience. By the way, I'm testing out a new mic and I'm very happy so far with the results. So uh, that's good. Hopefully there isn't too much of a rustling no background noise or whatever, because it is new, I'm testing it out. Now I'm gonna connect it to the shadow underneath. Let me scrub a bit here just to show you. And then I'm gonna, add in a few of the extra darks in there. I'm gonna mix some more red paint. I'm using larger brushes than usual, but still imagine like the whole uh, height of this uh, painting is 70 centimeters. So that would be divided by 2.5. I'll be around what? Um, uh, 30, 30 inches, 28 inches, something like that over 240, two meters and 40 centimeters. So you're seeing a small, small section and it still works. Look at how I'm gonna merge that shadow under the rooftop, continue with it. Now, maybe I won't be able to achieve all the values exactly right the first time, more likely than not. Some areas here, thankfully, I will not have to paint over like that shadow between the two roofs. That's gonna be wonderful, even that, um, building in the back there, I'll probably won't have to cover it again. But even if I do have to cover some areas again, that is perfectly fine. There's no problems with that. Um, you just work it like any normal watercolor painting. Again, my one goal, one and only goal with this video is to show you that it is doable. You can do this. It's just that this process is gonna take a while. I've been working on it for a couple of days now, four days, maybe five days now. And uh, it's gonna just, it's gonna take another week and a half at least. I wanted to share with you a bit of the process. I'm going straight for it. See the darks and the windows. It's going with a very dark paint, not black. It's gonna dry lighter. You'll see uh, while we're at it. Let's look at the continuation of this process. This is a huge, huge wash. Again, see, I'm, I'm working my way around it. Uh, I know some people are gonna ask about the brush. This is a Raphael Aqua something series. Uh, I think it's a, an inch and a half. Um, see, I'm working on it. It's okay. 
in, in, as much as I can to get the flow, but this is a light wash. Even if I have cauliflowers, no one will really notice that I'm making my way to the back. I'm not worried about touching existing paint, you see here? And that's how you slowly, I'm gonna jump through this fast. I don't, wanna, I don't want this to be like a full painting process video because I haven't finished the process. But you see how section by section, uh, these things work. You don't have to paint everything in one go. Look at how I'm letting some color merge there uh, and the result is beautiful. I will uh, show you some pictures of what it looks like currently, what I'm looking at. Uh, and it's just great, great fun. If that's something you wanna try out, I hope you'll give it a try. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you are curious about trying different sizes of paper and different sizes of paintings, there's no reason to limit yourself really. I think the only thing that is currently carrying me is my vision, the thing I want to achieve and everything else be damned. I don't really care about um, any rules, so to speak, any of the way things should be done. Um, just breaking free of all of that. I think that's what, I think Picasso said that, like it took him a while to learn how to paint and then like 30 years or whatever to unlearn everything he learned. Um, to me, it took a little shorter than that, so I'm happy about this. Uh, and Akis, thank you so much. I want to thank everyone who supports me over on Patreon as well. If you want to receive credits at the end of the videos, be sure to check that out. A couple of exclusive processes. Thank you to everyone who watches, comments, likes. I've received a lot of kind comments recently. And yeah, keep an eye out for when this video is actually out. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. I mean, I'll share with you the whole thing, how I drew this. Um, it's going to be interesting. So in any case, I will see you there. Take care.